Dolls, welcome back to our channel and today we have a Halloween tutorial and it is inspired by graffiti. So it's a graffiti makeup tutorial and I will be featuring the crown brushes in this tutorial. And it is inspired by Alec Monopoly and his artwork. If you don't know who Alec Monopoly is, you need to get going and figure it out because it's epic. So if you're in recreating this look, then keep on watching. The first thing we're going to do is to apply some foundation all over our skin. I'm using a sponge and this is from Real Techniques and I really like the sponge because it really helps to create that airbrushed look on your skin. If you still have some dark spots then feel free to apply concealer at this time. I'm using the bare skin one and it's a serum type of concealer which applies beautifully onto the skin. I'm also going to use the same concealer on my eyelids to cancel out darkness and just around any area of my skin that needs a little bit of brightening. Then I'm going to blend everything out using my blending sponge. I'm going to set all of that concealer using my Ben Nye Banana Powder um, on a brush and just patting that into place so none of the concealer moves. Especially around my eyes where you know, this is a very mobile area Next I'm just going to be applying my pressed powder over my skin just to set all of the foundation and concealer And now we can get started with the makeup. We're just gonna randomly apply spots of um, different colors all over our skin and then you are feel free to set it with um, a setting powder so it doesn't move around all night I'm just going to be very haphazard about this so you can use the colors you want but one trick um, of trade would be to start from the lightest color and then continue on to the darker colors so that way you don't have to like um, mix and match the colors that are being applied and they won't be like muddy when you're done. Feel free to use any colors you would want on your face for this look. I'm using these brighter colors but you can feel free to use blacks or reds or whites. Any color that you might find on an Alec Monopoly artwork piece. Just be inspired and make your imagination go wild. And just uh, make sure to apply them kind of overlapping just a little bit so they look kind of like they're blended together. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to start doing our tattoos or graffiti or whatever you want to call it on top of the colors. So I'm just using the black from the same palette and I'm applying these different shapes on my face. You can feel free to um, go wild with this part. And I'm just using an eyeliner brush to achieve this. very close to the lash line and I'm going to um, extend the outer corner just a little bit and I'm going to also line the lower lash line. I'm not going to do anything on the waterline because it is so colorful and bright that we don't need anything extra. And now I'm just applying a little bit of glitter on top of some of the, the 
design. You don't have to do this part, it's optional, but I just thought it would give it a bit more interest. Now it is time to smooth away all of the harsh edges. So I'm just going to use my finger to do this and just pull it away from the design. And now for the other eye, I don't want anything too dramatic. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a wash of the gold still from the Makeup Forever palette. And then I'm going to um, lightly do my eyebrows. I'm using just a bit of brown shadow from the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. And I'm just going to be filling my brows in with that using a brush. And I'm going to be doing a small line on the top of my eyebrow just to make it look cartoon-like. Just a tad. I am just adding a bit of highlighter onto the area underneath my brow bone. And I'm just using the same glitter that we used before. And now I'm going to be using a liner brush from the Crown Brush Collection to draw some lines. These represent the lines that... Alec Monopoly uses in most of his tags um, over the E in his name when he signs. And then here I'm just going to be lining my lash line, my upper lash line, and then I'm going to extend the wing just a little bit and then I'm going to add a couple more lines to represent the way he writes the E for his name as well. Now line your lower lash line using the same black from the Makeup Forever palette and I'm using the same brush that I used to draw on the things and now I'm going to just extend the inner corner of the liner just a little bit down to make it more interesting and here I've applied some falsies just to really pull the look together. I'm adding a bit of lipstick and this is Russian Red by MAC and I absolutely love this color because it really brings the whole look together. I'm going to put my hat on because he is um, notorious for his top hat and for his handkerchief over his nose and mouth so he can hide his identity. So this is what I'm doing and then here is the finished look. I decided to put on the top hat and um, you can optionally wear the handkerchief so everyone can know who you are or you can not wear the handkerchief and um, show off your makeup so it's up to you. I'm wearing the bathing suit I purchased at Forever 21 um, that has the Alec Monopoly logo on it with the Richie Rich and I paired it with a jean jacket which I tied around my waist and I'm wearing these sweatpants also from the Alec Monopoly line and some booties which are one of my favorites. They just really put the look together. So girls, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It was so much fun to create and I really love all the colors and how bright it is and it's really perfect for Halloween if you don't want to go all out um, or look scary or something like that. So I hope that this is a good alternative for you and that you um, check it out, try it out. So as usual, I want to give you guys a kiss, mwah, a hug and see you guys next time. I'll leave you with some pictures of the Alec Monopoly event last summer. Bye!